What's happening, fellas? Feast your eyes on what I believe to be the last, essentially brand new Honda CR250, 1975. Fellas, this is another diamond piece crown jewel out of the Randy Gillespie collection. Uh, he had several brand new motorcycles, including the Montessa 125 over there that's listed on eBay and the RM250 that went up last night and sold instantly for $10,000. Suzuki 76 RM250 sold for 10,000. This is a 75 CR250, essentially the same shape as the Suzuki. It's a June production date, so 76 model year. Also, it's the same year. So he had the 76 Suzuki, uh, Elsinore and the Suzuki, same year, same exact year as the Suzuki that just sold for 10. I would say the Honda is, is uh, has a higher value than the Suzuki, but that beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Uh, I just like the red, they're beautiful bikes. Um, this is a fantastic machine, ultra rare. If you know anything about these Elsinores, you know, the first thing that would happen is this baffle would be taken off and thrown out. So to find one that's got one in brand new condition, just like that Suzuki RM250, if you price one of the Suzuki Stingers, they're $1,500. If the last one I saw for sale on eBay, they're just priceless. You can't, you can't get them. So this is, this is, guys, this has the original paint on the gas tank. This has the original front tire. This is the original plastics on the bike. This is not lipstick on a pig. This is an original unridden 76 CR250. Now I say unridden, it probably has a couple hours ride time because the rear tire, uh, I mean, the front tire's got some wear on it. There is some visible wear on the motorcycle if you look closely, but it's as close to brand new as you're going to find an Elsinore CR2DM anywhere on the planet. The original exhaust pipe on this thing um, is completely dent and ding free. There's not a single dent or ding on it. The fork tubes, chrome looks brand new. The fork lowers is like brand new. The DID rim still has the factory sticker on it. And guys, this is the original 40, is it 47 years old now? Oh, 75 years old. So, yeah, 47 years old front tire. And it's in remarkably good condition. There's no armor all on it. It looks a little, um, the, the black on it, it would dress up nicely with some armor all, but I tell, I don't like the guys putting armor all on the tires when we ride them. The, the hub's in beautiful shape. The spokes are beautiful. Uh, the frame uh, has been touch-up painted from here down a little bit. It was previously done, and uh, Ronnie in the detail shop put another coat of, of paint from here. Uh, this was touched up. The frame rail's down here. Um, you, can, uh, you can't really tell, but if you look closely, you, you might be able to tell. The engine side case covers were, were touched up, in the, as was the cylinder head, and the exhaust system was professionally repaint, refinished, repainted the original high-temp, low-gloss, or flat black, excuse me. Uh, the carburetor has been serviced, the air filter has been cleaned, the car has been cleaned, the um, oil has been changed, the bike has been steam cleaned, hand washed, polished, all the chrome has been polished. The, um, the bike is just absolutely stunning. The, the original front fender, original number plate, if you look closely you can see the production date of 675 here on the steering head. You can see the original rubber and uh, um, aluminum mounting system for the front number plate is intact. The hardware holding the forks on, the chrome is still good on those. They're usually, uh, the, usually the chrome's long gone because the, the wrenches would strip the chrome off of it. This is an unfettered original. Original. One thing I noted when I got on the bike, first of all, it's pretty much vibration free for a two stroke. It's very, uh, meaning the, the, the crank and top end are in super nice shape and well balanced. But the clutch pull is like butter on this thing. Super smooth clutch pull. The original grips are in good condition, like new. Uh, the throttle cable is nice and crisp. The levers are beautiful. Um, no evidence of it ever being dropped on this side or the other side. Uh, just a stunning piece. Uh, pegs look brand new. It's got the, it has the kickstand and it's got that muffler on there, which is two unobtainium things on a 47 year old motocross bike, let alone a, a four to seven year old motorcycle. Um, the original factory saddles in mint shape. The foam's nice and comfy. Junior, you want anything about this Elsinore 250? Yeah, it was a motocross bike. Every one of these were taken out to Southwick and uh, revved to Redline. It and destroyed it, in short order. Absolutely destroyed. And Honda clocked out in 77 to redesign the bike. So 76s, I'm sure, got traded around and um, ridden before getting traded out for the new bikes. That's a good point. We yeah. very rarely see 76s. I mean, check the channel. How many 76 CR250s have we actually uh, been through? Not a whole lot. 
so. uh, just a handful. And, and this is the first one that looked like it just came out of the crate. The, the original factory paint on the tank and the sticker here, the aluminum, uh, this is the original uh, aluminum gas cap. It's And, and uh, the stickers on here uh, are original. The finish on the paint job is is like brand new. It's, it's just remarkable. Um, one small blemish right here on the tank. As you can note, a uh, little patina here, right here, on the uh, uh, a little rub through on the uh, thing from where the, the throttle cable sat for 47 years. Um, the frame rails are in mint condition. There's no dings. Uh, the rims are perfectly straight. The shocks, everything's, it looks like a brand new bike. I don't know what else to say. I'm just drop the mic now and walk away. But if you have any questions about it, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Randy, hats off for another beautiful machine. Randy's 65 years old, closed his shop, selling his shop. Um, sold us his collection of motorcycles and uh, he said this was his 401k he bought these bikes and and kept them oh I almost forgot to add his storage facility for these bikes had he built purposely for storing classic cars and motorcycles and he's got some very expensive cars in there old Hemis and that kind of stuff um, it is radiant heat flooring concrete with no windows uh, insulated heated and air conditioned with radiant heat flooring and that's one of the reasons when the, when the radiant heat flooring is, is kept year round at a certain temperature, you get no condensation. And that's what kills the finish on the chrome. That's what kills the finish on the aluminum. That's what pits everything and ruins it. That's why his bikes were essentially in a, um, in a time capsule. This is a time capsule from 1976. If you're looking for the finest 76 Elsinore for sale in the United States of America today to add to your collection, there are none finer that I know of that are for sale. So buy this one and um, you've got a money in the bank investment. If you have any questions, give us a call, 860-454-7024. We can ship it anywhere in the country. This is one we'd love to leave in the museum. If you want to buy it and leave it here, just let Junior know. We'll put a contract together, put it in the museum display file, and it can stay here until uh, you're, you're ready to cash in on your 401k. So thanks for watching, and God bless America.